All right, welcome back everybody. 823 on a Sunday morning. Fondue is hugely popular, especially in the wintertime because it's easy to make. It's a lot of fun and it's nice and heavy, which I like. Paul <laughs> Partica's here this morning from the cheese shop in Centerbrook. And Paul, you have to keep stirring, right? I do. To keep it moving. <laughs> well, for folks who don't know, talk about your shop, first of all. Um, we're located in Centerbrook, Connecticut, 33, 33 Main Street. Um, we have a Pretty nice inventory of cheeses. We carry somewhere around 250 cheeses at any given time. There are that many cheeses, yes. Oh, there's 12,000, so we have a mere, we have a mere <laughs> drop in the bucket. And one thing that we do is kind of unique. Everything is cut fresh, and we let you uh, sample everything before you buy it. This way, you're never taking home a surprise, and you always like it, and you enjoy it. Well, it's also cool, I think, for people to try some unique cheeses, which, you know, it's Absolutely. easy to go to the store and see what they have, you know, in, in the supermarket, but you offer it's something It's just so much better different. when it's when it's fresh. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's talk about fondue. I, All right, we fond were saying, It seems like it was so popular years and years ago, but now it's back, but you say it never really yeah, left. Yeah, for me, it never left, but for some people, um, yeah, I guess you could, you could say that, but for us, it's very popular, and during the cold weather, um, people just loved fondue. We, uh, today, I'd like to just cover two yeah. topics, if we could, some of the cheeses that we use, and a little bit about how you make it. Okay. First thing is traditional Swiss fondue. We use Emmental, which is the Swiss with the big holes. We use Gruyere, which is a, a little firmer, sharper cheese. Also good for a French onion soup, uh, oh, yeah. quiche and things like that. It's just an all around good eating cheese. And one of my favorites is the Appenzella Extra. Um, that's a cheese that when it's first made, it's, it's aged in a little vat of white wine and spices and herbs for a mm. few days. And it kind of gives it a really unique flavor. So you mix all three? We mix all three. Okay. Um, the, the basic rule for fondue is eight ounces of cheese per person. That's net after you remove the rind. So what we'll do is uh, for, let's say, two people, you need a pound of cheese. We'll do a half a pound of Gruyere, a half a pound of Emmental, a quarter pound of Appenzell. Remove the rind and it gives you a net of about a pound of cheese. And then we make up these cheese kits, if you let us know in advance, where we shred the cheese and we put in the, the nutmeg, the pepper, the arrowroot or cornstarch or flour, whatever you want to use. Put in so, nutmeg. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, because bit. you can smell other things. So it's not yeah. just, you don't just dump the no. cheese in here and melt it down. No, exactly. And then um, when you actually make the cheese, we take a pot, we take a, a clove of garlic, you rub it all around, try and get a little bit of the flavor. And for you garlic people who really like garlic, you can chop it up a little bit and put it in if you want. <laughs> Uh, then we put in, a, uh, what do you call it, a cup of wine okay. for every um, yeah. eight ounce of cheese, a All pound right. of cheese, excuse me, a cup of wine, eight ounces. Maybe a splash extra. Squeeze a lemon, <laughs> that goes in the glass. Squeeze a lemon, <laughs> and uh, then you just kind of start melting it slowly. And as you can see here, we're just about ready to uh, So there's to no taste. cream in there? No. Ah. All the cream is in the cheese. And Do people uh, seem overwhelmed by this? Like when they come into the shop, you give them the idea, and they're a lot like, of no, people no, have a problem making it. They seem to get bubble gum, and they do. It's too yeah. watery, well, too thin, whatever. Well, you don't want to burn it either, right? So what we do, no, and that's why it's one of those things that you, you see me constantly stirring because it will burn on the bottom of the pot, you know, pretty quick. We do a, a fondue kit. We give out a um, instruction. So I will, based on what you're doing, if it's a dinner or if it's just a, an appetizer, I will cut the cheese, shred it, get it all ready. All you have to do is basically put the wine in the pot with the garlic clove and start melting it. So it's a perfect fondue every time. Well, we appreciate you coming by yeah. this morning, Paul, from the cheese shop of Centerbrook. And thank you uh, for doing this cooking. We're going to give it a taste right after <laughs> we say goodbye to everybody on this Sunday. Morning. Hopefully more than a taste. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. Bye-bye. Have a great day. Bye-bye.